Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a keto beef and broccoli rice bowl. But there is a twist in this recipe. And can you guess what that twist is? Well, pause this video right now and leave your guess in the comments below. And let's see if you get it right. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's get cooking. So we're going to start by making a miso dressing for this rice bowl. Obviously that starts with a tablespoon of miso paste and I'm going to add a tablespoon of water to that and then microwave it for 30 seconds. And then I give it a good mix to thin out the miso paste, making it almost like a miso sauce now. To this I add less than a teaspoon of calamansi juice and if you can't find this where you live use lemon juice or lime juice instead. Then in goes a squeeze of sriracha for a bit of heat, a little bit of stevia for sweetness, a tablespoon of mayo for creaminess and a few drops of toasted sesame oil and then give it all a good mix. And our miso dressing is ready and I'm going to put it in my fancy squeezy bottle for easy squeezing. Now it's time to marinate our beef and I'm just using tenderloin that has been cut into cubes. To that I'm going to add a tablespoon of regular sesame oil, a tablespoon of light soya sauce, some rice wine vinegar some black pepper and finally season it with salt and then I give it a good mix and set it aside and let it marinate. Now in a hot pan that has been oiled I'm going to cook my beef. So I add in the beef to the pan and folks you can cook your beef to your liking. That could be rare, it could be well done or it could be somewhere in the middle. I like mine medium rare. Anyway you want to get the heat up so you can get some nice caramelization on the beef and once it's cooked on one side flip it over and when it's perfectly cooked and it's got a nice sear on both sides you can remove it from the pan and set it aside and let it rest. Now I'm going to take some purple cabbage and chop it up nice and thin. You can also use regular cabbage if you like but since I had purple cabbage at home I said why not. Then I'm just going to throw that cabbage into the pan in which I cooked my beef and I'm also going to pour in any resting juices from the beef and give it all a good mix. This will ensure a nice flavor to the cabbage. I'm also going to season it with some salt and some black pepper. And then you just want to cook it till the liquid is completely cooked off and the cabbage is nice and tender. And then remove it from the pan and set it aside. Now I'm going to chop some yellow and red bell peppers and I'm going to cut them into cubes and I will leave them raw because I love the freshness and the crunch from it. I also love the sweetness of the bell peppers. So anyway just chop those up into nice little squares. I'm also going to chop up one spring onion and this is going to be raw as well and will add a lovely flavor to the bowl. Now it's time to slice up my beef and it's been well rested so I'm just going to cut nice thin slices. This is also going to make it easier to eat in the bowl and just look at that beef. It is perfectly cooked and nice and juicy. Oh yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to reveal the twist about our beef and broccoli rice bowl and that twist is that the broccoli is the rice. Yes, we're using our broccoli rice for this rice bowl. So get your bowl out and fill it up with that broccoli rice. You obviously want to make sure that the broccoli rice is cooked and if you haven't seen my video on how to cook broccoli rice, click on the i button. Then we're going to add in our sliced beef followed by our red bell peppers, then the yellow bell peppers, our cooked cabbage, the spring onion greens and now our bowl is ready for dressing. So squeeze that miso dressing on everything. I'm just going to sprinkle some white sesame seeds on this now and then some black sesame seeds as well. And folks, our beef and broccoli rice bowl where the broccoli is the rice is ready. Now all you gotta do is give everything one final good mix before you dig in and enjoy a tasty and delicious meal. Speaking of digging in, it's time to taste. Alright folks, so here we are to taste the... <clears throat> Alright folks, it's time to taste our beef and broccoli rice bowl. 
with a twist and that twist being that the broccoli is the rice oh f yeah hey testing 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 all right fo Not bad. All right, folks. So it's time to taste this very delicious-looking keto beef and broccoli rice bowl, where the rice and uh, the broccoli is the rice. That's the twist to this recipe. So, how is it not a salad? It's keto. We can call it. <laughs> That's a very good question, and I don't have an appropriate answer. But anyway, on keto, anything that is shredded and grated can be rice. But shall we dig in? <laughs> so, who is that making noise upstairs? Anyway, let's get on. <laughs> let's taste. So, do I get a bite of everything together? Yeah, of course. Some of the broccoli, some of the pepper, some of the cabbage, some of the dressing. Ooh. Okay, that's big. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Seriously, who's making that noise? Is really good and surprisingly rice-like. Like I know it's not rice, but it tastes like rice. Like it tastes like a rice bowl. Yay! That's the goal to taste like a rice bowl. And how do you like the dressing? It's my special it's really good it's Mi it's miso dressing. Oh, that explains it. It tastes like like an Asian stir fry, but yeah. without like looking like an Asian stir fry. Yeah, it's got more crispiness. Very confusing. Good, but confusing. Right, so, do you like this? Do you give it the horns up? Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, my beautiful wife, Dipti, who's here to taste test, I didn't announce it this time. I completely <gasps> forgot to announce it. But I guess you realize by now she is actually here, which is not a figment of my imagination. Anyway, we're going to leave now because the neighbors upstairs are making a lot of noise and uh, hopefully you will make this rice bowl and I hope you enjoy it. And we will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen, hit the bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video. Now, I have a question for you. On a scale of 1 to... How much do you like beef? Well, if you love beef, watch another beef recipe of mine. Or click here and watch something else.